I'm Anil Kumar and here is solution of question number 16, page 322, Advanced Functions, Nelson. Thus for you, as requested by you, here is the solution for the question. The question here is, the members of a high school basketball team are driving from Calgary to Vancouver, which is a distance of 675 km. Each tire of their van has a radius of 32 cm. If the team members drive at a constant speed and cover the distance from Calgary to Vancouver in 6 hours 45 minutes, what is the angular velocity in radians per second of each tire during the drive? Now this question from your book is from the extended part, but I think what you should remember is just two formulas to solve this question. One which you already know is V equals to distance over time. Now this V is the linear velocity we are talking about. And the second one is the formula which relates linear and the angular velocity. Now I have videos which will show you how they are related but angular velocity, let's say angular velocity, which normally we write as omega equals to linear velocity divided by the radius. Now these two formulas get you the value of angular velocity from the linear velocity. We are already given distance and time and therefore ratio of distance and time can give us velocity to start with. Now another important thing in this question is conversion of units. If you see angular velocity is required in radians per second. So here we want radians per second. Now linear velocity when you calculate it is in kilometers and time is in hours. So here we have kilometers per hour, correct? So you got to convert your units to radians per second. Also remember radius given to you is 32 centimeters. So R is with a radius which is 32 centimeters. So basically the distance should be in centimeters. So that is what you have to take care of. I think you can pause the video, answer the question now and then look into my suggestion. So let's begin by finding the velocity itself. So velocity is distance divided by time. In our case distance is 675 kilometers. 675 kilometers. Time is 6 hours 45 minutes. Now 45 minutes is 3 quarter of an hour. So I'm writing it direct 6.75 three quarter of an hour, right? So 45 minutes is actually to find in hours, you have to divide 45 by 60, right? So you get 0.75. So, so many hours, right? So that gives you velocity in kilometers per hour. Since we know that we have to convert to centimeters in seconds, so let's do this conversion right away. So kilometers, 1000 meters is 1 kilometer and 100 centimeter is 1 meter. So that is how we can convert from kilometers to centimeter. Now let's convert hours to minutes. So we have 6.75 hours. We want to cancel hours. We write hours on the top and we say this is 60 minutes, right? Now we need to cancel minutes. So we say 1 minute is equal to 60 seconds. Do you see that? So if you do like this, you take care of the units. See, kilometer, kilometer cancels off. Meter, meter cancels off. You are left with centimeters. In time, hours and hour, hours will cancel. Minutes and minutes will cancel. You have got seconds. So finally, you have units, centimeters per second. Do you see? So let's use calculator and find this answer, right? So we have 675 divided by 6.75 times 1000 times 100. So now we have to divide by 60 and 60, which is 3600. So what do we get? We get a big number. So I'm just writing that number in decimals, which is 2777 recurring 7. So what we get here is 2777 recurring 7 and this is in centimeters per second, right? 
Now we need to find the angular velocity, correct? So angular velocity for us, as I said, is linear velocity divided by the radius. We are given radius is equal to 32 centimeters, right? And linear velocity we calculated as 277, 77 recurring 7 divided by uh, 32 centimeters, right? So 32 centimeters. And this is in centimeters, I mean centimeters per second, correct? Now, once we do that, we get our answer. I already have that number. It was uh, 237. So I put one extra. Okay. Divide this by 32, right? I'm not very good in calculations, so you may need to do the calculations yourself. So when you divide this by 32, you get 86.880 radians. Radians is a ratio, right? radians per second. So that is the angular velocity for the given question. Correct. I hope there could be some mistake in the calculation, but I hope you understand the method which we adopted. So in this question, it is kind of tricky in the sense that you need to convert the units and use proper units. That should help. And also remember these two formulas. Velocity is distance over time and angular velocity is velocity over the radius of the circle. In this case, it is the tire. I hope that helps. Thank you and all the best.